So let's take a look at this sutta, and I'm going to share my screen now. So this is called the Shorter Discourse to Malunkya Putta. What a beautiful name, Malunkya Putta, or the Kula Malunkya Sutta. Thus have I heard on one occasion, the Blessed One was living at Savati in Jetta's Grove and at the Pindaka's Park. Then, while the Venerable Malunkya Putta was alone in meditation, the following thought arose in his mind. These speculative views have been left undeclared, let me make that a little larger, by the Blessed One, set aside and rejected by him, namely, the world is eternal and the world is not eternal. The world is finite and the world is infinite. The soul is the same as the body and the soul is one thing and the body another. And after death, a Tathagata exists. And after death, a Tathagata does not exist. And after death, a Tathagata both exists and does not exist. And after death, a Tathagata, a tathagata neither exists nor does not exist. Just so we get clear here, Tathagata is referring to the Buddha. A tathagata that literally means one who comes from thusness. All right, it's refer. It's a it's a name for the Buddha. The blessed one is also referring to the Buddha. The blessed one does not declare these to me, and I do not approve of and accept the fact that he does not declare these to me. So, I shall go to the blessed one and ask him the meaning of this. If he declares to me either the world is eternal or the world is not eternal, or after death a Tathagata neither exists nor does not exist, then I will lead the holy life under him. If he does not declare these to me, then I will abandon the training and return to the low life. All right. Malunkya Puta. My goodness. He's got a lot of demands going on and he is wanting to uh, get cl get clarity from the Buddha. He wants the Buddha to to come down on on what happens after death on one side or the other. And he's just so interesting. He says he he's neglected, right? He thinks the Buddha has has neglected to state these things, and he's saying that he's going to leave the he's going to leave the Buddha and the Sangha, the community, if the Buddha doesn't answer him directly. It's kind of humorous if you think about this, like this is what's going through this monk's mind. Like, I wanna know the answer to this, these questions, which one is it? And don't, don't we sometimes get like that too when we're, 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 we're wondering, we wanna like, there's gotta be, like if I just know the answer to this, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to feel better so we don't have to look at the we could you can certainly look at the rest of the sutra if you want to however we are not gonna we don't have to do that here just to say i'll give you the the end uh, what the buddha says he basically tells malunkya puta listen i'm not gonna i this is not <laughs> this is not my teaching i don't say what is going to happen whether the world is finite or infinite, whether the soul is with the body or not with the body. The Buddha basically brushes him off and shows him the door. And Malunkya Putta has a, a realization that, oh, okay, I don't have to worry about these things. And he, of course, stays with the Buddha. But it's a fair, it's a fair question for us to have, right? We want to know. And the Buddha basically responds with a with a response that says, these are, these are not things that I care to teach about. What I care to teach about is that there is suffering and that there is a way to relieve suffering. 
right? And knowing these things is not going to do that for you. But you need to really check that out for yourself. Is not knowing these things really going to relieve your suffering? Or is, is knowing them going to relieve your suffering? We, you need to check that out for yourself. So don't just take the Buddha's response to Malunkya Putta for it. 